Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time Tour Recycler Model 20376-2376. It's a 2011 machine with a Kohler. We had uh, went ahead and replaced the uh, blade stop cable, and I'll give you the number for that, the 115-8439. A so professional, high quality cable. So kind of mess with this. I have not worked on one of these Kohlers like this before. It's got the um, kill switch for the engine up here on the handle. Down is stop, up is on. I kind of put on here to help me. This is a customer's um, machine. So what had happened is the um, cable broke here and I went ahead and replaced it. Cracked right there and broke. So I had this thing on the side and the other on, on its side in the other video remove the blade the uh, plastic blade cover and then you have access to the spring down below there's a little um box down there similar to this um plastic keeper type thing there's a little keeper down there under that under the uh deck and so i marked uh some fingernail polish where that little hole down is so put it all back together came up here and uh, tried the, the bail break and this um, cable had a lot of tension on it when I went to bring down the bail bar this thing was way up here stretching the plastic so I went down there and adjusted the cable down there so now when I pull this back, it, it barely moves the plastic. Before this whole thing was bending, I was afraid it was gonna break in half before I gave it back to the guy. So the, this thing uh, basically, I, I think copies a Honda. What you have is um, engine run. So the engine's gonna start, but it's not engaging the blade until you bring this blue safety clip down and then you engage the blade if you want to stop the blade move to another section of your lawn the engine's still going to run the blade's going to be disengaged until you engage it again in the new section of your lawn same style here personal pace you just push down on this and uh, it'll engage the rear wheel drive. So I made some adjustments to that as well to get this thing to engage properly. Um, the four wheels all needed some grease. There was a ton of buildup and snot. This thing would hardly roll for me. So I had this thing running a little while ago. I'll start it and you'll hear that the RPMs are a little low. What I'm gonna do is show you how to increase RPMs. This little tab here, you wanna take some channel locks and lift up on the tab. It puts more tension on the spring. Right now it, it feels like it or sounds like it's got low RPM. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're officially done with the 2011 I'm going to call this guy and tell him to retrieve this fine machine. So move my switch to the top, which is on, off. So I'm just going to pull on this thing. The um, carb may be need to go, be need to be gone through. It, it's got a little bit of a rough idle there was no gas in the tank i put my own gas in it i cleaned the um, air filter when i looked in the throat of the carb there was some syrup in there with the engine running i just um, took a little carb cleaner gave it a squirt let it catch itself gave it another squirt because when you're squirting the um, 
carb cleaner in, it has a tendency to want to stall. So you just can't blast this full stream. You got to give it a little shot. And so I kind of cleaned up the throat of the carb of that uh, syrup. So maybe off camera, what I'll do is um, take the bowl off and, and inspect the um, carburetor bowl. If it's pretty syrupy and raunchy, I'll um, clean the carb and just add that to my bill. I'm thinking right now with replacing this brake cable, I'm going to charge probably 65 so far just for the labor in the um the part <clears throat> so he said don't go over a hundred i may um, put some sea foam in the tank let it idle here for a little while 15 20 minutes see if that helps me out on the um carburation deal so let me start this i've got a clip up here on the um, bail for the, the um, blade. So what we can do is um, I'll show you both ways what it sounds like under load and not load and then we'll make our adjustment. I had to get the channel locks. I got them in my back pocket. Okay, I like the sound of that. Made two adjustments and uh, increased the RPM. So anyway, that's that's the deal. You could hear the fluctuation in the aisle. I'm going to try sea foam, like I said, 15 or 20 minutes. There's only a little bit of gas in there. I just put enough in to get it to start. I'll sea foam it, let it idle here on the concrete and see if we have um, better luck. If not, I'm going to remove the, the uh, bowl, examine that, and the whole carb if I have to. I had the air filter off. I blasted that off with some compressed air. I hope the folks down at Four Star Power Equipment in Englewood, Florida, think I've done a good job on their previous Turo service machine. Like I said before, I don't know if they're a dealer or if they uh, just service. I'm thinking they're a dealer just by the name Four Star Power Equipment. 
I have a hunch they um, sell as well as service. So there you go. Just notice something here. There's a part number actually for this sticker. If I wanted to get really fancy, I could order the 115 4676. Never notice that, that this has a, a part number. They probably want 1595 for this sticker. A lot of them come in like this, peeled off. If I wanted to do a good restoration and make it look new, I could order a sticker. One of you guys look up that number for me, 115-4676. Maybe there's a seller selling a five-pack of these at a reasonable, reasonable price on Flea Bay. As always, tip your waitress and wait staff. Thanks for coming out. I call this job nearly 90% done. Hopefully I can clean up the carb. He didn't really um, say anything about it running rough. He said it ran, but the blade wouldn't work. So I rectified that. The, the carb would be extra but he gave me some leeway. He gave me up to $100 worth of repair, so I could easily uh, do the carb work on this if I have to clean it up and increase my uh, service bill. Have a good day today. Thanks for coming out. Looking at this 20376, 2376, serial 31300, 5240.